Hi everyone, this is Ivan. So today's lesson is that um, we will actually go through the uh, APM for Python uh, using the uh, exploring the context where we we'll switch between the application to the to the web view. Right. This is the uh, Android emulator. Uh, it's a giant emulator. So I'm going to run Chrome. Right. The test scenario is our launch Chrome. And this is the Chrome browser, the web view. Right. Actually, this is still the native. So I will actually search. Click on the uh, search bar. And maybe I'll search for someone. Right, something like this. Uh, and now, let's try first. So I'll search for this uh, in the Google uh, field. So this will be the web browser. And then I will want to actually change the strings to Wikipedia. Right. Oops. Sorry. To Wikipedia. Right. And after that, I would like to actually click on the web view. This first uh, hyperlink, uh, Wikipedia. And I will just scroll down to all the way. And that's it. So that's, that's a test scenario. Alright, let's uh, begin to dirty our hands. Before we get started, we need to install APM. So this is the link to uh, set up, uh, install and set up uh, your APM. And since we are only doing uh, for Android, you can actually skip the iOS. And because we are actually uh, working on Python, the next thing that after installing APM, we need to install the APM Python client. This is the one that you uh, need to install. Make sure that you have also installed Python uh, in your machines. Right. So this is the one which I highlight. You need to install it. And finally, uh, this is something that you do not need to install. This is a documentation. Uh, this is what we are going to try when we switch between the native to the web view. So we are going to use this command that is called the context. Right. Now I'm going to use the uh, APM inspector to find out the element IDs in the Chrome. Uh, let's launch the inspector. So the most important in here, we need to get the app activity and the uh, app package and this will actually launch the Chrome. Uh, I will actually provide you with this. All right. So now we actually got to the front page, the very first page and I want to find out what is this so that is the first ID we need to uh, capture right let's click next and no thanks for this right we use the ID the negative button negative underscore button okay so now we come to the native web browser okay let's try this is still in the native mode right and we have this so we will actually input the text, the strings in here. Right. 
I will click here. Right, this is where we actually need to use the Chrome browser itself. Let me get the Chrome browser. Right. So I'll search for the inspect and this is what I want, the class. So I'll get a class and Wikipedia. Right. And in Wikipedia. Hmm. Alright, so I'll just I'll just grab it in here. I'll just grab this thing as a CSS selector. And we should be good to go. Okay, good. So now we have all the elements selectors the locators and we can actually start inputting into the script itself okay let's start the thing our hands uh, okay so we'll write our script in here so before that I'll need to actually import some of the APM and Selenium if you have actually installed APM and set up the Python client you should be able to access this. So I created the uh, a Python file tutorial.py. Let me put the import in here. Okay. So these are largely what we actually need. And then the next thing uh, we are going to do is to write the desired capabilities. So desired capabilities are a set of settings that will actually enable APM to actually to launch the app, the mobile app, whether it's an iOS or Android. So let's write the desired capabilities. Right. First we need to state the platforms which is Android and this emulator, the name of the emulator, the device name and the app package and of course the next one mandatory is the app activity especially if you do not have the APK files installed so Right, I'll put this thing in, it might not be mandatory. This is the platform version. And lastly, uh, we will actually grab the web driver, the APM web driver. Okay. Let's run this and see whether it launched. Let's go. Good, so it launched. That's good. Alright. So the rest of the things now we need is to uh alright, let's let's put in the rest of this element ID stuff here and here and there. Okay. I've actually input in the test file. Alright, this this is actually a quite a mess, but I'm just showing as a tutorial example, you can actually arrange it. Uh, in different design patterns like page object models yeah etc right. so these are the ideas that we actually search for using the APM doctor inspector okay. so next thing is I want to specify is the let's see the weight okay All right And we remember that it will actually when it launched there's this uh button whether we accept to continue or not. So to make sure that we have that, 
uh, let's do an explicit weight uh, locator a present of the element to check whether the present element is around alright and then we uh, click by the ID okay let's see whether this works first Okay, it seems to work, yes. Alright. Okay, good. So now the next thing that we need to do is to to sign in. Uh, I mean is to no thanks in here. Alright. So let's let's make sure that we actually have this a negative button and then we will actually click on the negative button alright so once we have the negative buttons it will actually come to here this is where we will actually input the, the, the search bar alright let's check whether the search bar exists alright and then we click on the search bar Okay, great. So now we have the search bars. We click on the search bar, and definitely we will need to uh, send in the text field. The text field. Right. But let's see whether this works first. Good. Alright. So when we when we reach here, we need to switch from the this is actually the web view. We need to switch from the native to the web view. So we are going to use the contacts, the web driver contacts. Alright. So this is a contacts. Remember the documentation which I showed you a moment ago. In here, yeah. So I just I just copy this up. All right. Okay. So once we have the contacts, we will use the web driver. We we'll switch it to the contacts. Okay. So now we are in the web view. Let's uh, wait for the. Uh, let's make sure there's an explicit wait for the browser search input. This where we have, and we will actually uh, click on it. All right. First, we need to click on it first because there are some strings in there, so we will need to clear the strings. Right, and then we add in the new strings with the Wikipedia in it. Okay. Right, and then we will actually uh, the search result will actually comes out with the Wikipedia, but we actually need to wait for it. So let's set an explicit wait. Right, there's a Wikipedia in here. And then I'll click on the Wikipedia itself. And finally, and finally because I want to scroll to the bottom of the page, so I use the JavaScript uh, executor using this window scroll by okay let me run it
Alright, screw to the bottom. Okay. So that's it about the script. Uh, it's actually basically very simple. The important thing that it switches from the native to the web uh, view. And that's what you want. And uh, you need to actually use the browser that uh, Chrome to actually find out what, what are the elements uh, for it and probably APM Doctor to find out the elements for the native itself. And lastly, uh, you can see that this is actually a very uh, simple script and as a QA or QE, you'll be expected to structure it rather than just write it through this way. Right? That's all for me. Uh, this is Ivan speaking. I hope to hear from you again. Thank you.